Wilbur Hayes was out with his family when he was pulled under in Lake Michigan. His death, part of a recent spike in drownings in the Great Lakes. A desperate search in Lake Michigan captured on dramatic cell phone video. Oh, my Heavenly Father, bring him out, bring him out alive. As crews worked to find an off-duty Chicago firefighter this morning who went underwater at 31st Street Beach. It looks like they got him. While onlookers on land hoped for a miracle. Is that him? Did they get him? <laughs> oh my God, thank you. But sadly, Wilbert Hayes did not make it. Chicago fire officials say he had just ended his work shift and went to the beach with his family before being taken under. He was pulled from Lake Michigan and rushed to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he died. Loved ones then gathered to mourn after the firefighter's procession. His widow, Latoya Hayes, saying in a statement to ABC7, quote, Wilbert was an exceptional husband, father, big brother, and friend. He was full of life and was passionate about his family and change in the community. This is a devastating loss, and we ask that you keep our family in your thoughts and prayers. Every one of these people had a mother and a father. Many of them had loved ones, and many of them, like the Chicago firefighter, um, had loved ones with them at the beach when they, they had the fatal drowning. Bob Pratt with Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project and a retired firefighter himself says his organization has seen a spike in drownings in the Great Lakes over the last week alone, including 18-year-old Ryan Muhammad of Bartlett, Illinois, whose body was pulled from a Gary, Indiana beach yesterday. So far this year, 48 people drowned in the Great Lakes, 20 of them in Lake Michigan. It's possibly that uh, there are even more numbers. Um, and sadly, um, we're getting reports today that there are um, other incidents occurring um, right now, and hopefully they will be rescues and, um, and not body recoveries. As for the off-duty firefighter, CFD says he's served with the department for 14 years. Reporting along Chicago's lakefront, I'm Trey Ward, ABC7 Eyewitness News.